So hello students. Today we see some more problems of uh, stoichiometry. Okay, see the problem. So 40 milliliter of 0.5 molar G C rig C plus 4 is required to react completely with the 10 milliliter of 1 and stannous. We know that the uh, is having two states. The minimum state is a uh, the least state is stannous, highest state is tannic, SN plus 2, SN plus 4. So the stannous here is oxidized to stannic. Okay, stannous is oxidized to stannic. And here cerium plus 4 is reduced. Cerium plus 4 is reduced to maybe plus 3, maybe plus 2, maybe plus 1, maybe 0. So it is not given. Just it is given C plus 4 is uh, reduced. It is oxidized means automatically C plus 4 will be reduced. We have to find what is the oxidation state of cerium in the reduction product. Means just now we said that cerium plus 4 is reduced. So if plus 4 will reduce and plus 3 will reduce and the plus 2 will reduce and the plus 1 will reduce and the 0 will reduce and the find out charge. So then reduce is in the SN plus 2. SN plus 2 itself it is oxidized to SN plus 4. So it works as itself it is oxidized but it works as reducing agent. So in the cerium plus 4 in the A model of red, A state of reduces the final charge. Okay. So in the same, there is a complete reaction means uh, so what is the solution? Same the milli equivalence of uh, milli equivalence of cerium plus 4 is exactly equal to the milli equivalence of uh, SN plus 2. So normality into value is equal to normality into value. So it is given in terms of uh, molarity. So automatic given of final geosynthesis. So molarity into n factor into value. So then you put up. It is also given as molarity. So molarity into n factor into value. So what is its molarity? Cdm plus 4 molarity is given 0.5. We don't know the n factor. We don't know the n factor of Cdm plus 4. So actually the one n factor, you have to find out some change in the oxidation number. Change in the oxidation number, the one n factor atom. So automatic n factor there is there. You are able to get the direct answer. So value, uh, value is given 40 milliliter. What is molarity of this uh, stannous? One molarity. What is n factor? So n factor for stannous. So stannous reaction. What is n factor here? Sn plus two becomes Sn plus four, losing two electrons. So n factor equals two. What is value? Ten value. So what is n factor? So it is equal to the n factor is equal to 1. Okay, it is 0 0.5 1 by 2 40. It cancel n equal to 1. So it is n factor 1. So n factor 1 and okay. what is the change in the oxidation number of uh, the cerium plus 4? Cerium plus 4 oxidation number change in that 1. It may be increased gauge, it may be decreased gauge. Okay, the plus 5 and the cerium plus 4 becomes to plus 5. Then also n factor 1. The cerium plus 4 if it becomes cerium plus 3 then also n factor 1. But if you want cerium or final oxidation set plus 3 this color we have to take plus 5 and there. All it is given it is a reduction product. All you want to cerium plus 4 plus 5 our choice layer. Because uh, already tin is oxidized. Tin is oxidized and the ceric, the ceric should be reduced. Okay. You got cerium ki plus 4 can highest choice which is a possibility to go to level. So therefore, n factor one and n factor nothing but it is the change in the oxidation number. So it can change in oxidation of plus two to plus four, four minus to two, n factor two. So are they only about direct n factor into the n factor for this reaction become a n factor is calculated as a one. So n factor. N factor in C plus 4 reduction is equal to 1. So, therefore, we can write cerium plus 4 
become cerium plus 3 by taking one electron. So n factor, for example, n factor 2 is n factor 2 is the what will be the oxidation number? What will be the oxidation state at the end? It is plus 2, a plus 4, plus 2, 2 difference. You have 1 difference, you have reduce form, reduce form, and decrease. Out of so, decrease and the n factor 1 is the plus 4, plus 1, plus 3 is possible. So, therefore, what is the oxidation state? Therefore, oxidation state of a cerium in reduced form. Reduced form is equal to plus 3. This is the answer. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So just we calculated the n factor. N factor best is equal to oxidation number calculation. Okay. Okay, see the next one. So potassium iodide reacts with the sulfuric acid, giving producing iodine and H2S. So these are the main products, iodine and H2S. So the value of, uh, so I have to, what is the calculation is, the question is, we have to find the value of 0.2 molarity H2S4 solution, which is required to produce 3.4 grams of H2S. Same. So it, uh, it is given a, uh, so, we have a product that we have a reactant, so reactant product, the relation between reactant and product. So, if we have a problem, so maximum problems, just accept one problem. So, maximum only problems, so both reactants are reacting each other. So, both reactants are reacting, they will equal, for example, x comma y reaction out of it. So, will equivalence of x is equal, will equivalence of y system. x comma y reaction, y, y, some, uh, products form any. So, x comma y complete react at what is the relation? Milli equivalence of x equal, milli equivalent of y to this term. But here it is given in terms of products. It will be in the H2S4 in the reactants. H2S is in the products. So, already in one problem, this type of concept, this type of same model was there. That is, a reactant is a product. So, approved by the milli equivalence of that reactant is exactly equal to the milli equivalence of the products. And if we have milli equivalence of H2S4 is equal to milli equivalence of H2S. Milli equivalence of H2S4 is exactly equal to milli equivalence of H2S change. Okay, general, my is the procedures easy method. But here, we are doing general mole concept, normal mole concept, milli equivalence concept, mole concept model is just now. So, all in the introduction class, we said that the stoichiometry problems are totally based on two concepts. That is the mole concept, next milli equivalent concept. So, milli equivalent concept and it's an easy method. So, not an easy method, it's a simple method. Small concept time, oh, actually one total reaction there are. Reaction that is the, that is the easy method actually. Milli equivalence and the milli equivalence method and the total reaction also from length. That low, so what just what is the change in the part oxidation number part change in of the number of electron tells the Just like in the first problem, when like ceric becomes ceric, ceric becomes to Ce plus 3 and stannous becomes to stannic. So the A compound to react and the A, A compound form in another constant level. But uh, mole constant problem is that we have to know the total reaction. At the milli equivalence is that we must know about n factor. In fact, we have a milli equivalence model as well. But here there is no information given to calculate the n factor of H2S. H2S key, n factor of fine bone should have, there is no clue. So, n factor of fine bone should have, so as well, for this problem, we are using mole concept method. Okay. So, what is the main difficult thing in the mole concept method means, sir? We must write the total reaction. So it is given the potassium iodide reacts with the H2SO4. So in the problem already it is given the main products are iodine, H2S, and we know that H2SO4 K and Arbatica there is a formation of K2SO4. 
and hydrogen oxygen and the compulsory H2O form of it. So this is the reaction. So balance it two iodines, uh, two potassium, sulfurs are many are there. Two sulfurs, two iodines. Let's put it there. Just by taking 8 we will get correct value, ok? 8. 8 iodines means uh, just make it 4. Oh, 8 potassiums. Yes, so sulfur are 5 sulfur are there. So make it 5 here, 5, 10, 11, 12. There are only 4 sulfur are there. Five sulfurs, four plus one sulfur. Okay. So, so what is the problem? The H2S4 form is given. We have to find the H2S. So, after having a mole concept problem, no? just at first we have to write the total reaction and full complete balance of reaction. That. So, complete balance reaction as it is. So, which uh, we have to underline those substances, we have to underline those species. First one, which we have to find out, and next one which information is given okay information is given about h2s so for underline it we have to find out about the h2s underline it now we have to compare those two actually we'll find out child's in the h2s so for find out child h the value of h2s so for we have to find to produce how much 3.4 grams so actually one problem though we we'll find out child's in the value find out child's the value of h2s so for so, but the clue is given H2S. Clue is given about H2S. So, I should not take the information which is the H2S itching. Sorry. H2S information is given 3.4 grams of H2S after each value. To produce 3.4 grams of H2S, to produce 3.4 grams of H2S, how much? How much value of H2S for fuel is required? Which is having 0.2 molarity. Mundu value find out jata. So a value find out is there than molarity lo convert jata. Okay, so with the help of this uh, five moles, it is just uh, one mole. So first uh, in terms of uh, moles are adha So actually to produce yes, we have to produce how much H2S? 3.4 gram. Need H2S equal to weight 3.4 gram. What is the molecular weight? It is 34. H2S 34. 0.1 mole. That one produced here is simple. Here. 0.1 mole produced here. So I can do the equation. So equation in balanced equation in class we can write. One mole of H3S, one mole of H3S produced here in the tank. One mole of H3S required. How much? How many moles of H3S before? Five moles of sulfuric acid. Then what about point one mole? So point one mole of H3S required. How many moles of H3S before? simple there is a 0 0.5 mole of H3S for 4 0 0.5 moles 0 0.5 moles of H3S for 4 so you can important 0 0.5 moles actually my question is there what is the question uh, in the question we have to find the value of H2S4 okay, but moles to the value to convert chai. this is important point in the normal one moles to the value to convert chai, right? normal uh, mole concept definition as the one mole equal to 22.4 liter so 0 0.5 mole equal to how many liters right? but here 0 0.5 mole of H2S4 solution 
ఆ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మోల్ ఆఫ్ సొల్యూషన్ ఏ మోడల్లో కావాలి మనకి అంటే ఏ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సొల్యూషన్ కావాలి ద హెచ్టిఎస్ ఫో ఫోర్ సొల్యూషన్ హ్యావింగ్ టూ మొలారిటీ సొల్యూషన్ సో మొలారిటీ సొల్యూషన్ ఇస్ గివెన్ సారీ జీరో పాయింట్ టూ ఎం జీరో పాయింట్ టూ మొలారిటీ ఉన్న సొల్యూషన్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మోల్స్ కావాలి సో సింపుల్గా మనకి ఏ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇవ్వలేదు మొలారిటీ ఏమి ఇవ్వలేదు జస్ట్గా జస్ట్ ఓన్లీ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మోల్స్ అయితే ఎస్టీవి అంటే జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మోల్స్ కాబట్టి సో డైరెక్ట్గా వన్ మోల్కి ట్వంటీ టూ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ లీటర్స్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మోల్స్ లెవెన్ పాయింట్ టూ లీటర్స్ రాసేస్తాం బట్ ఇక్కడ మనకి టూ మొలా జీరో పాయింట్ టూ మొలారిటీ ఉన్న సొల్యూషన్ అడిగింది కాబట్టి మొలారిటీ బేస్ చేసుకుని మనం వాల్యూ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయాలి జీరో పాయింట్ టూ ఎం హెచ్ టూ ఎస్ ఫో ఫోర్ ఈజ్ గివెన్ సో ఈ జీరో పాయింట్ టూ ఎం సొల్యూషన్ మనం ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయాలి మొలారిటీ ఇచ్చినట్టు మొలారిటీ ఫార్ములా తెలుసు మొలారిటీ స్కూల్ వెయిట్ బాయ్ మోలిక్యులర్ వెయిట్ ఇన్ టూ వన్ బై వాల్యూ ఇన్ లీటర్స్ అంటే మనం వాల్యూ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయాలి కదా సో లీటర్స్ కూడా ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేద్దాం సో ఇంకోటి ఇక్కడ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వెయిట్ బై మోలిక్యులర్ వెయిట్ ప్లేస్ లేదు మనం యాక్చువల్ మన నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మోల్స్ తెలుసు సో నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మోల్స్ బార్ వి ఇన్ లీటర్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇదే మన బేసిక్ ఫార్ములా సో వాట్ ఇస్ ద వి లీటర్స్ ఈక్వల్ హౌ మచ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మోల్స్ బై ఎం ఇక్కడ ఎన్ అంటే నాట్ ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మోల్స్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మోల్స్ హౌ మచ్ యూ హట్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మొలారిటీ జీరో పాయింట్ టూ దట్ ఈస్ ఫైవ్ బై టూ 2.5 liter of H2SO4. So, the final answer is 0. Point, sorry, 2.5 liters of H2SO4 is required. Watch to what type of H2SO4 until 0.2 molarity on the H2SO4 you just know, but direct to what you know, molarity you just know, value below convert this term. Okay. see it's so one more very important problem so this problem is a very simple problem but it is a so only one model is there the single problem in this model see 6 moles of a solution of a power n plus n plus or plus n means the oxidation number of a is n plus n require 2 moles of dichromate ions Require 2 moles of dichromate ion for the oxidation of, for the oxidation of uh, A plus N to AO3 minus in acidic medium. So, already we know that uh, K2Cr2O7 minus 2 dichromate ion is a good oxidizing agent. Good oxidizing agent. I think it is Cr2O7 minus 2 oxidation. It oxidizes uh, A power plus N to AO3 minus. అయితే నార్మల్ మనకు కాంపౌండ్ ఇవ్వలేదు జస్ట్ జనరల్ కాంపౌండ్ ఇచ్చాడు అంటే మనకు ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయడానికి ఇట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ ఎ క్లూ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద క్లూ ఈజ్ సో హియర్ ఏ పవర్ ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఈజ్ ఆక్సిడైజ్డ్ టు సో ఈజ్ ఆక్సిడైజ్డ్ టు ఏఓ త్రీ మైనస్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ So, in fact, the oxidation number plus is directly given. Here, what is the oxidation number? X. Oxygen, we know that minus 2, 6. Overall, minus 1. So, X equal, we got uh, 5. Means oxidation number of A and here, 5. Here, oxidation number of N is, so, oxidation number of A is uh, plus M. Here, oxidation number of uh, X is equal 5. So, here, oxidation number N. It's oxidation number 5. So, so N becomes 5. It is increased or decreased. We don't know the exact value of N. But we can guess it is increased or in decreased. Simply we can say it is increased. Because the R it is given the oxidation of A plus to AO3 minus. So, A plus oxidation in that type. So, what is the meaning? Its oxidation number increases. But take here. So, ఇక్కడ మనకి ఇచ్చింది ఏంటంటే ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆక్సిడేషన్ 
A plus L is oxidized. A plus L oxidized to AO3 minus. So therefore we can write uh, 5 is greater than N. So automatic uh, oxidation the information is automatic. Oxidation the automatic oxidation number increase. So oxidation number increase in the 5 and okay? so 5 is greater than n. So therefore we can write n factor is equal to what is the difference? 5 minus n. Just one we details in the Japan so we can write n factor difference n factor the change in the number of electrons losing or gaining. And n minus 5 right to 5 minus n right. 5 into highest range will be n because it is increased. Oxidation number but it is increased value. Increased value but a so in the highest minus least that is 5 minus n next so how do we know what is the n factor in Cr2O7 minus 2 so Cr2O7 minus 2 what is the change in acidic medium Cr2O7 minus potassium dichromate this dichromate ion always change it to this is uh, so you can have so number of electrons is added in that to 5 minus n electrons 5 minus n electrons. If you are gaining of electrons plus 3, what is n factor? By taking 6 electrons, we know that. So, character the oxidation number 1 chromium plus 6 was 3. And 1 chromium plus 3. Second chromium plus 6 to plus 3. Total number of electrons 6. Therefore, n factor equal to 6. So, we can uh, equalize milli equals. Start the milli equals equals to having type. Uh, Normality into value also, but if there is no information about value, so a compound is not valuable. So, here we can uh, equalize uh, equivalence, just equivalent equals to that. So, gram equivalence, equivalence of uh, A plus M is equal to equivalence of Cr2O7 minus 2. So, milli equivalence is coach, milli equivalence is the value most of There is no information about the values. So, that's why we are taking this. Okay. <coughs> so, equivalence means uh, moles into N factor. So, moles into n factor nothing but uh, we will get the equivalence. So, afterwards we see how it is. Okay. So, first uh, what is the number of uh, moles? The 6 moles of uh, this solution. So, what is n factor for it? Uh, 5 minus m is equal. What is how many moles of it is given? So, it is given 2 moles of potassium dichromate. What is n factor for it? X. Okay. So what is uh, n equal to uh, 3? Okay, n value is 3. It is not n factor. So, total n factor is 5 minus n. So the n value means uh, so therefore a plus n is equal what is that component? Eh? This is a power plus 3. So, okay. So this is the answer. So you could import it. Uh, So how we got uh, this moles into n factor? So it writes up the equivalence equal to. So normal one if you know the formula of normality. So normality formula we you know that uh, milli equivalence. So normal the uh, equivalence equal to that one of equivalence equal we can write uh, weight by gram equivalent weight plus actual. And get a compound we don't know about the compound so compound is actually uh, and the equivalence and weight by gram or little weight by n factor so actually the compound tells the 
मैं ना पल इधे मूड राष्ट्र ग्राम ईक्वल ग्राम मोल ईक्वल बै एन फैक्टर बट इक चाईस ले मन की नंबर आफ् ईक्व दलो वन आफ द रीजन सो वालूम सिबल मे बी वालूम सिबल का इवकना कोई साल वालू वालू कैंसल प्रॉब्लम ले वालू इंटू वी वन वालू वालू कटे इक मेन प्रॉब्लम अबउट मोलिकल वेट आफ दिस् मोलिकल वेट चाइसाबी सो ईक्वी वाले वेट बै ग्राम ईक्वल वेट चाहिए ग्राम ईक्वल ग्राम मोलिकल वेट बै एन फैक्टर दी सो वी डो नो अबउट द ग्राम मोलिकल वेट आफ दिशे मन इक ग्राम मोलिकल वेट चय सो दी कन्वर्टे इट कैन बी चेज टू वेट बै ग्राम मोलिकल वेट इंटू एन फैक्टर सो वेट बै मोलिकल वेट वी नो दंबर आफ मोल नंबर आफ मोल सारी नंबर आफ मोल इंटू एन फैक्टर सो इट इज लाइक दिस् ओके Okay, see the next one. So, how many moles of HgI4 minus two will be formed when two moles of Hg plus two, two moles of Hg plus two, and two moles of I minus react according to the following equation. So, actually, my total reaction is you know. So, perfect the reaction is there. We can do it in terms of mole concept easily. But here important is so totally the one reaction only there is only three species Hg plus two that is given two moles I minus that is also given as two moles the only one product so one product uh, so one the question is how many moles of this one so this we have to find this one with the help of I minus find out here too with the help of Hg plus two there is uh, two clues are given so we have to find uh, about the moles of product. सो मोल प्रोडक्ट फैंड मन की रियाक्ट यूज कंपलसरी सो एनी वन आफ द रियाक्ट यूज बिकाज ऐक्चुअल ओनली वन रियाक्ट इनफर्मेस दिन बेस्ट जस्ट डैरक्ट बट इक टू इनफर्मेस टू रियाक्ट गिवेन इनजी टू मोल हाउ मच एचि फॉर्म ए फैंड नैक्स्ट ई मैनस इज आलो टू मोल टू मोल आफ मैनसि फोर मैनस टू फैंड We think that we may think that uh, we can use any of the reactants, but we know that uh, if uh, the information of two reactants is given in the calculation, we have to select one reactant only. We have to select only one reactant, which is known as limiting reagent, which is known as limiting reagent. Like two uh, two reactants keep information which the product find out chain. That is, each of the two reactants lo. Only one reactor to use this call. That is called limiting reagent. So each one from each of the two compounds, lo, uh, which is which is limiting reagent, we have to find. So limiting reagent simply means that which is consumed totally in the reaction. So if possible, uh, see the limiting reagent topic in the mole concept uh, lesson. Okay, okay. Try to see that video also. The limiting reagent means that. उड़ा अमौं कटे लेस अमौं ऐक्चुअल टोटल कंज्यूम अंपौंडे लिमटिंग रिएजेंट अट रियाक्ट टोटल कंज्यूम पार्ट कांपौंड लिमटिंग रिएजेंट अट इक टोटल कंज्यूम अवे विच इज प्रसेंट इन द लेस अमौं कंपेर्ड टू द बैलेंस ईक्वेशन बैलेंस ईक्वेशन तो कंपेर से उड़ा अमौं कटे लेस टोटल रियाक्ट होते हैं सो इक लिमटिंग रिएजेंट असल फस्ट अकॉर्डिंग दिस रियाशन सो इतनी मोल्स इधर वन मोल सो इध फोर मोल सो इक वन मोल एजी प्लस टू रियाक्ट वित् फोर मोल आफ मैन सो गिविंग वन मोल आफ दिश प्रोडक्ट सो वन मोल आफ एच फोर मैन टू प्रोड्यूस अवाले वन मोल आफ एच प्लस टू रियाक्ट वित् फोर मोल आफ मैन सो मैं प्रॉब्लम टू मोल आफ एच प्लस टू टू मोल हेच प्लस टू इच सो इन वन इस्ट फोर का टू मोल की ऐक्चुअल मन की वन इस्ट फोर रेस्यो का नीड मोल आफ मैन सो ए मोल आफ मैन रिक्वर्ड बट हाउ मच मैन बट ओन 
two molars sorry two moles of i minus is given okay with two moles as well we get two moles is two moles so if one mole ki four moles two moles each one ki h g plus two moles and then i minus and then call eight moles kal bakada eight moles kal karakta eight moles there only four two moles se only अब ये टू मोल्स कंप्लीट है बगैर नहीं रिएक्शन होना सर है रिएक्शन होना सर अंदर रिएक्टेड का बिगल को दिया नहीं रिएक्ट और अंदर का आई माइनस लेट गया था तो एक रात टोटल का तंदर का रिएक्शन लो कंप्लीट है ये पे ये कंज्यूम है ये पे ये इधर ने आई माइनस कम दार बेस इसको ने प्रॉब्लम In this problem, so according to this information, I minus is the limiting reagent. Come on, I minus value is equal to no problem, sir. Okay. So according to the equation. So according to the balance of balance equation, we can write uh, four moles of I minus produce how much one mole of HD I four minus two. Then what about two mole? Zero point five moles of uh, HG I four minus two will be formed. Okay. 